The first individual has a very cliche name, a name that you would expect these types of people to be having. Your new daddy DMs open. And upon first glance, the profile picture might seem normal until you realize how old this guy actually is. Now I found this man roaming an underage Discord server saying the following. 25 male, looking for girls to sext with, DMs open. But if you dig a bit deeper, you notice that he's been sending these messages right after literal minors were sending their messages. And if that wasn't bad enough, he's actually done this over 60 times, each with a new variation of the same message, meaning he typed all of these out individually. He's clearly been putting some effort into this, but why? We're gonna find that out. So I went undercover with an alt named Elena who poses as an underage girl in middle school. Now to my surprise, he messaged me first, which is how I found out about him. And he starts with a simple, what are your DMs open for? Just saw your post. My DMs are open for guys who wanna get freaky. Now I know that message was a little cringe, but this guy has pretty low standards, so it worked. Well, that's perfect because I'm trying to sext. Just let me know. Well, before we do anything, this is what I look like. And then I sent an image of an adult decoy. He then said, oh nice, you're cute. You also look pretty young. I'd like to see it from the back or you arching that back for me. I don't know how these people are so stupid. He literally says, you look pretty young and arch that back for me in the same set of messages. They're just asking to be thrown in prison. At this point, I was flabbergasted and had to ask, how old are you? He said, I'm 25. You? Oh cool, I'm f sending another adult decoy image. Oh nice, I'm into that. Sorry, replies might be spotty, I've been busy with family, but my statement stands. I'd like to see it from the back. We can sext if you want absolutely disgusting. I actually thought he was joking at first as if this was satire, but later on you'll realize he's very serious about this. I respond with, I'd love to sext with you. You start off, I don't like taking charge. I'd love to see you on your n with your d sticking out, ready for me to slap my dick on it before p***ing it in your Sounds good, my little s Wink emoji. That sounds very good. Would you like me to wear this during all that? With another decoy image. Ooh, yes. I would make sure to lift up that dress to show your cute little ass. Expose it to me so I can fuck it hard. This guy has been the most graphic with me out of everybody I've ever caught, so I'm going to have to censor a lot of this conversation. Stop. Reading your messages makes me want to myself. Well, good. That's how I want you. Sorry, I got back from the family function. What's a family function? I have no idea. I wound up getting a little too drunk and passed out, but I'm home now. Again, he's saying he got drunk, so he's further verifying that he is of drinking age. Hi, sorry, I had to go to Sunday school today, so I couldn't talk. And then I asked, oh shoot, are you okay? To try to build some connection. After a bit of chatting, I ask, I have a question. Why is your name your new daddy? Are you my daddy? Surprised face. He says, mmm, I could be. But this is nothing compared to what else he says next. I say, really? Really, I took this pic earlier. Mmm, you look good in that one, like a fuckable face. What do you mean fuckable? How would you fuck it? Heart emoji. Make you open your m for me while I slowly put it in your m making sure you felt every sink of it. I told you it gets worse. You've been sending pics, so I'll send you one. And then he sends me an image that I did reverse image search and it's nowhere on the web. This is an authentic picture that he took himself. It was a shirtless picture of him where he shows his underwear, but what makes it more disturbing is the caption. He says, mm, what a good girl. I want you to be as as you can be with my big c this is so nasty considering how he is doing this with someone who he believes is 11 years younger than him. Holy f your b is damn perfect. I'd down those abs as you're s it of me. Mmm, that sounds so good right now. I'd love to feel those soft going down my abs. You being able to feel the veins. I have a huge vein kick. Mmm, good. You can see a little popping out on my arm. Now, everything he said up to this point is absolutely abhorrent, but here's the icing on the cake. He says, I like a nice. I'd love to see what you have in store. He is asking this person he believes is underage for a picture of their ass. I say, maybe sometime I'll video call you and show you what I have. Is there anything else you'd like to see? What a good girl you are. I'd love to be there right now. That in and out, making you take every inch. I mean, you can send a pic to me as well. I'd love to see those tits as well. He loves to say as well, apparently. And then he says he wants to 
all over them. I've never once in my life seen some sh like this. I mean, I've caught so many guys and they've never been this graphic before. Afterwards, he asks for a picture of the decoy's jugs with a on. I tell him I'll show him some time, but you know, I have to go because this was literally at almost midnight and I didn't feel like texting this guy till 1am. So I tried to get out of the situation, but then he just kept asking for just one more pic of this decoy's cheeks. I don't understand this man is desperate, but at the end I got his name. His name is Cameron and I'm going to be investigating this man. I did report his account and he hasn't been online since. The authorities have also been told about this and they're aware of the situation. So hopefully they open up a case and get this guy where he's supposed to be behind bars. This individual is a 31 year old named Alex who named himself Orlean with a dinosaur profile picture. Not sure how those things go together. I found him in a similar server, but he was a lot more under the radar than the previous person we have just talked about. He actually didn't send a single message in the server and he reached out to me. So anyway, the conversation begins with a simple sup girl. I say, hey, smiley face. How are you, baby? I'm doing well. Good to hear. I'm Alex. I'm Elena. How old are you? I did ask how old this guy is because I do that with pretty much everyone I talk to when I'm trying to make these videos. 31, how about you? I'm th Jesus Christ. Now at first here, I thought that he was pulling back a bit because I, I just said that I was, you know, someone who's still in middle school, but that could not be further from the truth. You see, I try to say, I know I'm very young. I'll just leave you alone. And he actually didn't message me for about two hours. So I was thinking, wow, there must be some improvement in the discord community until about two hours later when he said, no, it's fine. I had to make a phone call. I don't know what kind of phone call he was making that was two hours long, but that's beside the point. So are you into sexed or ERP? Tongue out emoji. Elena? It took me a bit to respond because I just gave up and got off Discord for a bit. But shortly after, I just said, hi, what took you so long? Haha, <laughs> just kidding. Can I see what you LL? I assume that means look like. Sure. And then I sent an adult decoy image. Is that you for real? Yeah. You're beautiful, genuinely. <laughs> you said? Yeah. This is already getting disturbing because he literally asks again what my age is and he said he was 31 as well. I, I don't understand how someone could be this f***ing dumb. Holy, you are outstanding. Not sure what the emoji's about. Thank you. So, what do you do for a living? I'm an accountant. I've actually heard that accountants make a decent amount of money, so why is this guy throwing his life away to talk to this underage girl? Wow, doesn't that involve like numbers or something? Sort of. Math class is hard. I could never do that. Again, I try to reiterate that I am in middle school and I'm still taking classes because apparently it's not getting through this guy's thick skull that it's a minor. Aw, it's okay, cutie. Want to see me? Then maybe we can role play. Eyes emoji. I'd love to. And then here's where it gets a bit difficult. He doesn't send me a picture of his face. He does something similar to what the previous guy did, but even worse, if you can believe that. Although he's less vulgar, the picture he sent was very, very disturbing. It was a picture of um, his meat, but like covered up. I don't understand how he thinks this is okay. Oh my, you're very handsome. This is another picture of me with yet again, another adult decoy image. I'd love to press my hand under that blush emoji. What? Sorry, was that too direct? This is beyond disgusting. And to be honest, I, I wasn't surprised. I mean, after the last guy, what else could I have seen that I haven't seen before? Do you like it? Wink emoji. Yes. Would your p get ripped if I lifted that s and started p my f inside? I didn't even know how to respond to this. So I was like, I mean, yeah, because it went from zero to a hundred uncomfortably quickly. Send me a photo. I want to see your cute little moist p Maybe later. Can I see it right now? I want to m to it, please, baby. At this point, he's just asking blatantly for an underage person to send them their taco. What is wrong with you, man? Give me a second. Let's do it on video call. Bet. Heart emoji. And this was my chance to finally confront him and get this settled. Now, I'm about to confront Alex, also known as Orlean, who, as you can see by the screenshot, admitted he was 31. We're gonna see what he has to say for himself, if he has anything to say at all. Hello, Alex, was it? Care to explain to me why a 31-year-old man is talking to a year old girl this way? I mean, I'd love to know your reasoning on how you think this is okay. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. They always leave. 
as you might have expected, he skedaddled as fast as he possibly could. That's the thing that most of these predators do. They don't stick around anymore, do they? I did also report this guy's account, and hopefully Discord takes the proper security measures and bans them firstly, and then also involves the police. Today's episode of Discord Degenerates features a man who refers to himself as Jeremiah. He works in the fast food industry and is in his early 20s. I came in contact with him through a teen dating server on Discord. I mean, I personally disagree with anybody making a server like this, but you know how Discord is. I created a fake profile under the name Mystic, which includes the decoy's age and gender. I also posted a fake introduction, which included even more information. I made sure to include the age, so there are no misconceptions. But this wasn't enough to stop Jeremiah from hitting me up, as you'll see in a bit here. The conversation starts rather typical with a simple wave. I respond with hi. Then he instantly gives me an age check. I said yes, and then asked him how old he is. He responded with quote, I'm hitting 24 next month. Is that okay with you? Now I'm pretty sure most of you are wondering the same thing. Why is there a man in his early 20s on a teen dating server on Discord? And to answer that, I have no f***ing idea. When it comes to breaking the law, of course there will be some people who are cautious with their actions, and Jeremiah is no exception. I respond with, I mean maybe, I don't have much experience with dating people. If it's okay with you, then there's no problem. It's always good for girls your age to experiment. Now this is relatively disturbing considering the fact that I just confirmed my age. Experiment with what? With an anime gif. He responds with quote, Ah, with love silly, isn't that why you joined the server? Obviously, things are getting a bit weird here, but let's keep going. I say, yeah, I joined to find some friends, and if I'm ready, then a boyfriend. He responds with, quote, well, what are your hobbies? I like watching anime, cooking, and scrapbooking. How about you? Let me tell you, I was very dedicated. If he had asked me to take a picture of one of the scrapbooks I made, I would have literally made one just for the sake of this video. I don't really know my hobbies. I mainly just work all the time. What's your job? I work in fast food. Oh, cool. And then out of the blue, he just says, aw, how cute. I don't really see what's cute there, Jeremiah. Th this man's riz never fails to amaze me. Then he asks, quote, can I see a picture of you? I sent him an AI-generated decoy picture, and he responds with, Wow, did not expect you to look that pretty. No, obviously things get a little bit worse later on, otherwise I wouldn't have made this video, so let's continue. Then he asks where I'm from. I say the United States, Arizona, and that my name's Kenzie. It's a pleasure to meet you, Miss Kenzie. Heart emoji. My name is Jeremiah. Jeremiah. Then, after a bit of texting, he says he has to go for the night because he has an early shift tomorrow. Now, I'm not sure how true this is, but we're gonna take his word for it. But unfortunately, this is only the beginning of a very disturbing encounter, and things only get worse from here. So buckle up, we're just getting started. From unstoppable Riz to prioritizing an underage girl over your own career, this man has it all. Now, this is where things take an even worse turn. At around 11 a.m. my time, he asks, How are you doing, Kenzie? I'm on my break. I respond with, I'm doing all right. I woke up a few hours ago. And you didn't text me? No, I'm sorry. It's all right, cutie. Do you have another picture of you? And once I send another AI image of the decoy, he responds with, You are beautiful, Kenzie, with a heart eye emoji. After this, I wanted to know what he looked like, so I asked him, Can I maybe see a picture of you this time, sad face? But of course, he responded with, Maybe some other time. Now, it's obvious at this point he's trying to be cautious and make sure he doesn't leak his own identity. Well, thank you for spending your break time to talk to me. No problem, cutie. Break is about to end, though. No, we only just started talking, sad face. Then, I send a crying anime gif. I'm really getting into character with this one. After a bit, he said, says, hey Kenzie, oh my god, hi, I thought you couldn't text me. I mean, I'm not supposed to be on my phone right now, but I thought, hey, Kenzie is worth it. Skipping work to talk to this person who he believes is a teenage girl. I mean, it makes you wonder, what would his boss think of this? Well, what are you doing? My homework. I'm in eighth grade, so they make me take Algebra 1, sad face. Aw, that sucks. Kiss. You got this, okay? Heart emoji. Yeah, kissing someone who you believe is underage as an adult, and then you even sent a kissing emoji not even five minutes later? What are you doing, man? Most people know the phrase, comfort of your own home, but this man took that a 
bit too far. After a bit of time, I get a message from him saying, I'm home. Work was a breeze today, which I could only guess is sarcasm. I asked, how was your day at work? He said, not good, and that none of his co-workers or people online really like him. I wonder why. After he said everybody leaves him, I just said something cliche, I won't leave you. Then he says something very strange. You're so cute. Thank you. You're such girlfriend material. This man is hitting 24, ladies and gentlemen. But of course, with these videos, it doesn't stop there. I tried to relate to him here and say, some people leave me because I'm so young. With another crying anime gif. I actually think that's better. You're less experienced and you're more pure. What the actual hell is wrong with this guy? I ask, what do you mean pure? You're very innocent. How do I stop being innocent? I don't want to be with a pouting anime gif. And he responds with, I mean, I could teach you a thing or two. Clearly, this is where the conversation starts to take an even darker turn. I ask, like what? Do you know what a period is? Yes, skull emoji. Well, do you know why you get them? I respond with, no. Because what girl the same age as this decoy would know that? It's a part of your bodily changes. It will help your body to be able to be pr**ed. In what world is it normal for an adult to speak like this to an underaged person that they just met online. Now, you might think he's trying to portray some sort of father figure, but when you see these later texts, you're gonna realize that is very wrong. Then this is where all hell breaks loose. He essentially just gave the decoy an entire lesson on human anatomy, which was a little weird. Then he goes straight to telling the decoy that it has to be hardened. Pretty sure you don't need to have a PhD in human biology to know what that means. Clearly things aren't looking too good for our friend Jeremiah here, but this moment is the point of no return. He cannot go back from what I'm about to show you here. It was at this moment where he sends a picture of his meat while saying he could get the decoy pr he even asks for a picture of the decoys. Taco, as I'll put it. He uses the excuse that it's for educational purposes to explain like what they do or whatever the hell he's trying to trick this underage girl into thinking. But then he says, this is what it looks like right now. Now this picture is absolutely disgusting. I feel like I was looking at a Subway sandwich with mold on it. You know the saying, it was a sight for sore eyes? That thing is gonna do the opposite. Anybody, no matter who you are, would get sore eyes from looking at that photo. Then he sends another image. I could get you so blank right now. Is this making your blank? I respond with yes, and then he asks me to send him a picture. I keep making the excuse that I really can't because I literally can't, and I'm scared what the AI is going to show me if I put that into the prompt. So I just gave up and made an excuse that my parents were calling me so I could leave the conversation. He then asks if he can call the teenage decoy babe from now on. He is really getting some attachment to this decoy, isn't he? I respond with sure, and that I'm excited to tell my parents about him. I did this as a tactic to make him sh his pants, basically, and it worked. Quote, I don't recommend you do that, Kenzie. Why not? They definitely wouldn't approve of us, and if you told them, I would have to go forever. Do you understand that? The manipulation coming out of this guy's mouth, it makes me wonder, does he have experience manipulating underage individuals? Most likely, because this is never their first time doing it. But I don't understand. What's wrong with you talking to me. Nothing in my opinion, but I could get into some serious trouble if people knew about this, so let's just keep it on the down low for now, okay, babe? Okay, Jeremiah, if you say so, you can call me daddy if you want. I mean, I told you this man's riz is top-notch. I simply say, okay, daddy, with a giggling anime gif, and then I say, bye for now. And then things get a bit silent for a bit. Until he texts me 20 minutes later. He, he just doesn't want to leave me alone, does he? So at this point, he asks, Hi, babe, is everything okay with your parents? This man kept messaging me all day. Like, I had to keep checking my phone to make sure he hasn't texted me because he was all over this decoy, which is very disturbing. He's definitely one of the more obsessive ones. After a bit of talking, he asks, quote, So what have you tried? He's asking what the decoy has done with other boys, which is weird to ask someone who you believe is not even in high school yet. Well, I haven't ever had a boyfriend before, and 
and have never had my first kiss. With another anime gif, he responds with, I'd like to be your first kiss. Kissing emoji. I mean, it's just, why, why can't he do this with someone who's an adult? I respond with, I wouldn't mind that. Would you want daddy to be your first? I could also get you blank. Are you sure? Very. The amount of times I had to redo reading these texts because of how many times I cringed is just crazy. This is something you don't see every day. After about 10 minutes, he texts me saying, you're so cute. And then he gets pretty clingy with the decoy and says, text me more, babe. Babe, sorry, I'm helping with groceries. And afterwards, he sends an awful picture of him in the process of beating his meat, basically. And then has the nerve to ask, do you like what you see? I try to act nervous. And then after about 30 minutes of silence, I try to call him because this has been going on long enough. And let me tell you, it doesn't really go anywhere. The call was very short and he didn't want to talk, so the moment I questioned him, he just left immediately, as they all do. It is currently March 29th, 2024, and this man's account has been reported and all evidence has been forwarded to the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children. And as of right now, his account has not been accessed for over a week, so it's safe to say he has been IP banned from the platform and won't be coming back anytime soon.